moment I saw the first balloon lit up in the darkness, I was like, oh, oh my god. I set up the piece <laughs> firstly, <laughs> which is quite hard, some hard work. And, and then I'm uh, in charge of the spatial patterns. So I do the kind of uh, spatial layout of the balloons. I started out as a student project. I didn't have any money or helpers, and so I had to do everything myself. That's also part of the problem. It's still 64 prototypes. I have to fix them a lot. And, I uh, developed a lot. So my role is everything else, the LEDs and the sound. And what I do during the performance is I create events and those events trigger the LEDs and the sound. It's a very strict set of rules which keeps it from being arbitrary. So there shall be no percussive sound that doesn't trigger an LED, for instance. The sonic idea I had was that I wanted to create things which were explicitly not normal club music or dance music sounds. I see it a lot of a lot like a movie. We're creating a three-dimensional movie there, you know, like early 20s experimental movie. It came more out of a, a shape that we did. We were experimenting and I was drawing some shape patterns and we had this kind of ring stack, ring structure. And we thought, well, this we call it Metropolis because we were noting down names for the different parts of the score. There's a few exceptions where the sound was really driven by a spontaneous visual idea, like there's the piano piece. And I just thought that these moving LEDs would be nice. A piano sound would be just the perfect um, counterpart because the piano is so pure and so innocent and so non-technical. And then you have these balloons, which themselves are also this kind of very old school thing and I like the idea to have this almost dusty piano thing going on there. I think it was the best performance because it had very nice transitions between the pieces, which is a bit tricky. That's the most difficult part for us. And it had a nice shape overall, like volume, sound, and it had, at least for me, moments where I was totally fine with the way how the sound um, interacted with the balloons. Like Christopher moved the balloons up and the sound itself opened at the same time. Yeah. And I tried out a few more things, like this time I really tried to, to sync the gestural movements of the filtering with, for instance, Christopher's changing in shape. It's nothing you would probably, as, a, as an audience, feel, but it changes the way it feels. And I really like those, those things. The sync between music and the movement and the light uh, is the key. And if, the, if those three elements come together at the same time, then it's perfect. Blah blah blah. Um, right sound check. One two test. Ka. Oh, it's okay. Ha. Like so. Boom. Tom. Okay. That should be fine. All right. I think that's all we need.
Yeah, we're done here. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> you can make a strike out of it. <laughs>